they go doing me now? I'm still a talk of the town. Don't need assistance, I'm hooking them down. We turn the smiles into frowns. Can't hop out, then we clearing the park. I'm scared to at me. At me. I'm big homie. OG. OG. These niggas feminine, low key. Low key. I'ma say I'm if it's on Tay Street. Hey, what's up, y'all? We're in a new episode of Talk of the Town. Today we got a special guest. Yeah. Big homie G. What's poppin'? Trending on YouTube right now. Yeah, yeah, I'm excited <laughs> about this. Okay. So, um, for the people that don't know, where you from? I'm from Memphis. Okay. And how'd you get into music out there in Memphis? Just being around. Just, like, Memphis, like, the music culture, just being around it. Mm -hmm. My uncle, my uncle, I got a crazy story behind it. Mm -hmm. I can tell it to you if you want to hear it. Yeah. How'd you get into music? My uncle Sean used to act like he, he was a rapper. So, he used to play different people on the radio. And, and as a kid, he used to tell me it was him. He like, yeah, that's me, I'm hard. And I used to be like, yeah, you hard. But then as I got older, I figured out it wasn't him. Oh and my God, else was playing. But that what really drove me in the music. Oh. So you was like, so he was inspiring you, you thought? Yeah, he was, yeah, yeah. Cause like, I mean, some people not, you know, into the Instagram and stuff, it's not like how it is now. Yeah. So, you know, you would know now. All right, so, but who was you listening to growing up? Um, All the latest, um, like, 3 Seas Mafia. Okay. A by MJG, Yo Gotti. Okay. I don't know people. I know who Yo Gotti is. I say all them people. I know Three Six Mafia. Yeah. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> I know that they. I know. I know a little bit about them. But um, so how would you? Would you would say? Cause people say like the music scene is like separated. Like, is it like that in Memphis or like what you think? It used to be like that. Like now, I feel like everybody coming along. Mm -hmm. You know, like with the youngins and everything, everybody coming along, like from different sides, from different parts of the town. Okay. Okay. And like, so y'all meeting each other in passing? Or you, you hear high rapper, you telling your homies and they telling people? Like, how is it now? Well, with me, it's like, I ain't, I ain't in cahoots with everybody, what everybody else got going on. So mm -hmm. if, um, if I like your music and we doing business, we doing business. Okay. If I catch you in the studio or something. And you there, and we, we, we might link up. Okay. Yeah. So so you're not really a reaching out type person. It's kind of like if they hit you or if somebody tell you. Yeah, if somebody tell me. If somebody I got a partner on. around and tell me, like, bro, you need to go link with okay. such and such. I go miss with. Okay. And um, so how did you meet Bag? Or y'all been to each other, Money Bag? Um, me and Bag, we actually cousins. We blood cousins. Really? Yeah. Okay. So like so, what was the first? Walk us through the first time you went in the studio. Like, did your friends bring you? Was you going to support somebody? And then they was like, "Yo, get in the booth for it." Like, the first studio session. My first studio session was like, my first studio session was off in uh, emotion. One of my homies had got locked up, and I was doing a song for like like free him. Oh okay. Free, like free him song. Okay. And just like I was really playing around, but it actually caught fire in the hood. So. Okay, yeah. and then you kept it going from there. Yeah. Okay, cool. Is he out now? Yeah, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. Okay, so um, so what motivates you, I guess, to keep going in the music scene? Because you've been doing music for like four years, I look back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so longer than four years or like around yeah, four I been, years? Yeah, I've been doing music. Like, I've been around music. I've been around like Yo Gotti back in his cocaine music days. Mm -hmm. I was just, I was legit just hanging around and soaking up game. Okay. But it's it been a... Been a ride though. I so, so when you was running around with Gotti, um, tell us some game that I guess he put you on to. Something that you remember. Um, Gotti actually showed me like just to keep working, like mm -hmm. no matter what. Like I used to like when I used to be around him, and he um back in the day when he tell me to get in the booth, mm -hmm. I knew I knew how to rap. It's like but I used to freeze up because it's like the pressure. It was him, like <laughs> man, he's telling me. Okay. But then now it's like it like it come easy because yeah. I, I back then I was just working. Okay. Man, come in, he tell me getting that motherfucking that. I'm gone in. Okay. So like, so what's your writing process like? You freestyling? You be pre-writing or? Yeah, I, 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 I call it writing in my head. Like okay. I, write, I, don't, I don't jot it down. Like if I get in the booth and like, I probably say two, three bars, stop, think, say another two, three mm -hmm. bars, but it, it ain't gonna take me long to do a song though. Okay. I mean, I don't think long, but some people like freestyling. Yeah, I could, but like if you ask me to like freestyle like right now, I wouldn't be able to do it. Like, well, you need a you need a beat, you need a vibe, and all that to get it going. Or you got to be in the mood to write. Like, what? It, what it's or like in the mood I gotta to record. Like, I gotta know I'm making. A, I'm gonna make a song. Okay, got it. All right, back. So we're gonna do a little icebreaker to get loosen up. All right, so I'm gonna just ask you a question. Just answer sure. first thing that comes to mind. What's your sign? Libra. 
What's your ethnicity? Mm. Like background. My back. You said my background. Yeah. Like what you Some mean? Some people like Jamaican, Caribbean, American. Black. <laughs> Just like okay, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, Black. one one word to describe you. Mm, one word to describe me. I think. Okay, worst song you ever made. What do you think? Or do you have one? Or you don't think you got one? Oh no, they. I don't know. I don't think I made a bad song. Okay. All right. Um, most expensive thing you bought. So far. My tea. Okay. Um, favorite song of all time. Favorite song of all time. Yo, got it. What's up? Okay. Favorite designer brand. Crown Heart. Hardest bar you wrote. Mm. You remember? Look ahead of someone. T. T was the hardest bar. Uh, I won't take no disrespect from no hope. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And um, favorite album right now? You have one. Um, speak up, G. My album. <laughs> okay. And who are um? Who's your favorite cartoon character? Back in the day. Cartoon character. Um, I like the PJ. I remember the PJ. Yep. Yep. Sure yeah. do. And um, who got the best ad libs? Me. <laughs> okay. And the favorite artist outside of hip hop? We got like an R and B pop artist. Well, uh, Bryson Tell. Okay. And um, who's the artist you feel like is overhyped? I don't want to do that. Um, and then, if you was nominated for a Grammy, what category would you be in? I was nominated for a Grammy. Um, but like, what the like, like the category? What they be like, like business, best new artist, best, best new artist. I was say, yeah. come on now. Okay, and um, okay, so moving on, you're trending number thirteen. Well, it was thirteen now. Yesterday it was twelve though. It's twelve right now. It's twelve right now. What is it right now? Nah, I just checked before we started. It was 13 right now. But either way, though, it was 12 y yesterday yeah. when you posted that, whatever. But um, so you did a song with Finesse two times. Who got it? Mm -hmm. did, was the song already done? Did you know he was going to be on it? Like, who yeah, was the song was already done. And I basically just was like, I knew me and bro wanted to get it in. We wanted to do something together. Mm -hmm. So once I dropped it, I just sent the right to him. He sent it right back. Okay. And do you like like being in the studio with people to do features or you don't mind sending it or it really just depends on the vibe? It, don't even, it really don't matter. Okay. Like I send it, we can be there like, as long as we get it done. Okay. It's business. Like, I, don't, I ain't tripping about being in there with you and all that. As long as we just make make history. As long as we make history. Okay. So who are some of the people that's on your project? People that um, I got Finesse two times on there. I got um, Boston Richie. Mm -hmm. I got uh, ESTG. Okay. And me. And you. Okay, and what inspired the project? Mm -hmm. I just, I just, uh, it was just, it was time. The fans really inspired. Like, it was time for me to drop. They, like, they wanted me to, they wanted to hear a, a full body of work from me. Okay. So I just delivered. Is it that you felt like you didn't want to drop one, or do you feel, like, what was you thinking? Nah, I, it, it wasn't more so that I didn't want to drop one. It's like, I do a lot of. I do a lot Angels. of stuff outside of rap. You know okay. what I'm saying? I, I and R, I find I find artists for our label for my label. Okay. You know I do a lot more than, than just rap, but it's like I can't be just throwing one or two songs out and not feeding the people. You feel what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Just like just, just just being selfish. Okay. So you have a label. How many artists you have right now? Two. Two. Want to shout them out? Yeah, Nick Hardbody, Buzz Boy Black. They here with me. Okay. And um, like, what what made you like sign them? Like, what did you see in them? Uh, well, like with Nick, it was like I did a feature for him like two two years ago. Okay. But he was dope, and uh, he brought me to his, he brought me to where he from, and mm -hmm. he ran this whole session, and I felt it. I was okay. like, yeah, you got to be, you got to come on, <laughs> lock in with me. Okay. And then with uh, with Black, it was like I did. It was two years ago too. I did a, um, I had a song called T. It's hot. It was hot. Yeah, the time. Mm -hmm. And I did a challenge. So the challenge was like, whoever uh, whoever I pick, I'm gonna do a free verse for him. Yeah. 
And he killed the challenge. Okay. So when I got it, I had already been knowing him through the streets because we from like the same area. Okay. So it's like when he killed the challenge, I like, come on, I had to lock him in okay. me too. And they both from Memphis? Nah, um, Nick from uh, Mohead, Mississippi, and Black from Memphis. Okay. And do you feel like like it's important for artists, I guess, to like put on for their hood or like to, you know, keep their hood close? Yeah, you got to put on for the hood if you don't... Which, this is going to get it first. Nah, I know, but, like, you know, being an artist is dangerous sometimes, too. So how do you, I guess, keep yourself safe nowadays? Cause I mean, you just can't put yourself in places you don't supposed to be in. Like, I feel like a lot of artists put themselves in places they don't supposed to be in. That's how they keep you getting fucked off and shit. Mm -hmm. Like, I ain't finna go somewhere I know I don't supposed to be. Okay. But you also got to work, too, so you also got to, yeah. like... I know how to work around it. If I know, <laughs> if I got a video shooting, is is not where I need to be at, y'all got to come to me. Okay. So I can control traffic. Okay. And then how do you know, like, I guess when someone is loyal to you? Or like, you, know, you feel loyal to me. Like, you're going <laughs> to feel it. Like, and you're going to feel who ain't for you. Like, you know, God going to show you. Like, you're going you gonna to put it there for you. You're going to put it right in your face. Yeah. So do you feel like you, like, pay attention to, like, the signs and, like, the energy that surrounds you? Most definitely. Sure. And then, um, what do you feel like is a deal breaker, I guess, if if somebody's your homie and, like, something that's, like, not okay? If somebody do something that's not okay? Yeah. Like, what's a deal breaker? Like, what's the ultimate deal breaker? Like, what's the, nah, you gotta go. Still. <laughs> gotta go. No ass, still. <laughs> not that ass. Because mm. you can ask me for it, I'm, I'm damn near gonna get it to you, but if you steal it. Yeah, no, you got yeah. um, to get away from around me. Nah, definitely, definitely, definitely. And I mean, like, um, even being an artist, though, I feel like, and you said you also signing people and stuff like that. So, like, what makes you, do you feel like you want to keep, like, pushing your artistry and then still pushing other artists? Because you see how Gotti does songs time to time. Yeah, most definitely, like, I'm most definitely turn into a CEO. Okay, of like, course. for sure. Yeah. Just to go. Yeah. Yeah. Just feed my fans with with what they want out of me, and mm -hmm. then get them more of me with, them, mm -hmm. with my artists. Okay. And now you're looking for more artists? For sure. So what 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 are some star qualities? Like, what are some star qualities you look for? You just got to be you. you your, 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 your situation got to be authentic. Like, mm -hmm. Everything got to add up about you. Okay. Like, can't be no flaws. Okay. And then, like, um, so you and Bag was cousins. So how did you end up signing with Bird Gang? Me and Bag, we really, Bird Gang is, is me and Bag. Okay. Oh, so you see yeah, CEO yeah, too? Yeah. Basically. Yeah. So we just, it's just like, we all was in a group at one point in time, me and mm -hmm. him, Black Youngster, um, for, in Finesse Two Time, mm -hmm. and a lot of more Memphis artists. And um, shit, Black Youngster had a uh, sign with Gotti mm -hmm. and did his thing. And it was like, Baghead came up with a hot song called I Need a Plug back then. So he was high, he was buzzing. And I like, kind of like, fell back from the rap get back in the streets a little bit, but I got behind his situation. Mm -hmm. So I was like, I get behind my shit. This is my family. I might as well. Yeah. So I was, I was pushing behind him. Mm -hmm. And we just came up with like, we came up with our own label, Bring Gang. Yeah. And it went from there. We made head, made Zebo, and, and it went down. Right. And what do you feel like, Um, I guess, is most important about being a CEO? Just staying on top of the business. Mm-hmm. Make sure everybody around you straight. Like, make sure everybody comfortable. Make sure everybody okay. Yeah. Definitely. So, where you, so in the next, like, five years or so, like, where do you see yourself? Five years? <laughs> I know five years is a long time. But like, I see years. myself being a billionaire in five years. Uh -huh. Being a billionaire. Um, my, make sure my whole family's straight. Which my mom, my sister, and my kids. Okay. Like, and my label, like, expanding, like, I don't know, just. Just big things for the label. big things big for things the next five years. Okay. And then, um, okay, so what would you say is your biggest accomplishment so far? My biggest accomplishment? So far, yeah, so far in the end. <sighs> yeah, what, like now, it's like, like I'm used to hitting millions on YouTube, but I've never yeah, been trending saying. Like, I feel like that's an accomplishment. Like, yeah, for sure. For sure, I ain't never been. I always hit millions of views, but I ain't never had no trending song. 
that's really moving. Like I'm looking at it. <laughs> it just was at nineteen. Is it twelve? Like I'm like, damn. Yeah. And this within like an hour. Mm-hmm. So it's moving. Yeah, it's definitely moving. Yeah, it's definitely moving. So like, so what's the what's the plan? So the project is out. No, um, the project's really dropping on the twenty first. Twenty first. Yeah, the single is out. Right single is out. Off the project. You're gonna drop another single. Or you're gonna wait. Today yeah, I'm, to um, I'm gonna drop another video, the day of the album I'm come out, it. and then I'm gonna let that rap. I'm gonna let the album rap for like a month, month and a half, and I'm gonna drop a deluxe. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Any surprises on the deluxe, or they got wait to see? They got, they got wait to see. <laughs> I'm singing on on the deluxe though. Okay, so singing you're getting into the bit. melodic sound. Yeah, I'm trying to get into that. Because because you feel like you want to try something new, or you want to push yourself as I an artist. I always wanted to know how to sing, <laughs> and then I just the other day I went in the studio and tried it, and it sounded good. Okay. So I'm gonna I'm I'm put it on the app. The okay. deluxe. Okay, and then who do you trust, like, when you're in the studio trying new stuff? Like, do you play it for your homies? Do you play it for Bag? Like, who do you play it for to know, like, all right, this is good? Bag gonna tell me, like, for sure, <laughs> like, he gonna, he if gonna be so, bad. like, get that out of there. <laughs> no, nah, he gonna tell me. Okay. So who do you trust to, like, tell you that sound? I trust him. Him? Okay, Yeah, I sure. trust him. To let me know what's up, you know, and I got, like, my artists, they gonna tell me, too. Okay. Yeah, they gonna be like, hell no, nah, bro. Okay. My brother Smith, he gonna tell me. Joe. Yeah, they gonna everybody. keep it real. So everybody around you. You don't really yeah, they have gonna keep it real because I'm an ex. Okay. And I want the I want the real. Like I want mm-hmm. like don't don't send me out, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's bumping, but it ain't annoying, but you laughing. Mm-hmm. Don't do that one. Definitely. So like is your family like in tune with your music? Yeah, my mama, she don't she don't know. She don't think it's real. I, I know she. She know it's real. But well, she, she can check YouTube now. Nah, she YouTube. don't. Nah, she don't know how. Like I be trying. To, like I. She be want me to pull up at spots. I be like, mom, mm-hmm. like, I can't. They gonna go crazy if I pull up. You, you know what I'm saying? So, but my it's like my dad. I, I just showed him. He came to one of my shows. And he crying. Oh. Like, he couldn't believe it. Like yeah. So, but I gotta. I gotta pull my mama out the house to one of the shows. And yeah. Why is this going on? Yeah. So, um, and then your kids too. Do you play? Well, do you put them onto the music, or they uh, know? My already? son, he he on it before I'm on it. <laughs> so he, he be he, seeing he the previews perform. and everything. He perform with me and everything. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. On the deluxe, you're not gonna tell us who's on it yet. But do we have? It's gonna be before the year over. Or you gonna give us some time? Yeah, like what? Like what? what I mean, we already in November, November, December, right there. You so there probably like right before Christmas or something. Right before Christmas or something. Yeah. And then, like, so, all right, so being an artist, like, in Memphis, I'm sure it's a big deal, like, when y'all drop in and, and fans is crazy out there. Yeah. So have you had any crazy fan interaction? Mm. Nah. No? Nah. The girls don't be wilding? I know they be yeah, wilding they be at the shows. Panties, they, I, I, had, I caught some panties at the show. <laughs> I caught some panties. Those were my first panties I got. Okay. Okay. Um, so are you jacking that? Because you know people they start throwing phones, they start throwing bras. Nah, start she crazy. did it like kind of like. It was cool. It was casual. She, she really like she walked past me like like I got some for like I said she throwing she walked past me like I got some for you know I'm like where is it and then she put it in my hand <laughs> and then as I'm, I'm like these these panties <laughs> and she was like you know what I'm saying? So I'm like. Uh, Crazy. Nah, that's funny. So, like, so, so, how do you deal with, I guess, the ladies now? Because I know it's a lot crazier than before. I is just, it? Or I, is it the same? I don't, that ain't, that I don't, that really, no, that I don't be my focus, really. Like, I'm chill, like, be cool. Just don't, just don't do too much. Okay. I'm, you know what I'm saying? So, what's doing too much for you? Don't get the pulling on me, like, don't do that. Don't, um. Posting? That's it. Yeah, don't post me. Don't try on. It would shit. You talking about like what you what you talking about like if I'm if, if yeah I'm if you walking with a girl yeah yeah, yeah. not sure. I'm gonna mess with you most definitely. We not posting. <laughs> we kicking it. You we here for me, not the not the word. We okay. For me. We gonna kick it. We gonna have a good time. We gonna I'm gonna do whatever like for you like you know what I'm saying. But just don't disrespect me and don't post me and all that real shit. You oh. got to, I got to know you for me. Like don't don't let me feel like you just here because I'm some group on some groupy shit. Uh-huh. And you feel like you could tell when it's a groupie for sure. 
Yeah, you'll know. <laughs> How you know, though? Like, because you don't feel it. They, they get to doing too much. <laughs> okay. They get to trying to do too much, like record, record, and look. The table, the. And it looks like they just. <laughs> like, what you doing that? Okay. I'm going to get the back of your shoe. <laughs> just record it, just to do anything, just to let somebody know they with you. Okay. All right. And then, um, so, Deluxe on the way. So, I guess you could tell the people where to find you. How could they tune in this camera? How could they tune in right here? Um, follow me at, uh, on all social media at Big Homie G, Homie with Two Eyes. Make sure y'all go check out my artists, Nick Hardbody, Bell's Boy Black, um, Endless N T Break Gang, y'all already know. Speak up G, 11 21st. Mm -hmm. Be on the way. <laughs>